To quote Star Trek, space, the final frontier. But to quote me, space, it's really weird. I mean, of course it is. If something is infinite, do you know what that means? It means that, contained within, there are infinite possibilities. And when possibilities are infinite, somewhere within that never-ending cosmic sprawl, there's bound to be stuff that's stranger than Marvel's favorite doctor and weirder than the deepest recesses of H.P. Lovecraft's mind. Strap in for an intergalactic quest into the deepest depths of the truly bizarre. These are the 20 strangest planets ever discovered in the galaxy. Number 20. Kepler-186f Out of all the planets discovered with potential for us to live on, Kepler-186f would likely be at the top of the list. In 2014, NASA's Kepler Space Telescope was used to find the first planet about the same size as Earth orbiting a star in the habitable zone, with the habitable zone being the range of distance where liquid might pool on the planet's surface. NASA reported that finding Kepler-186f confirmed that, other than the Sun, other planets around the same size as Earth exist in the habitable zone of stars. They said that they had previously found planets up to 40% larger than Earth, but Kepler-186f was more reminiscent of our world. NASA Astrophysics Division Director Paul Hertz said finding this planet was a significant step towards finding planets like our own. He said future NASA missions would discover the nearest rocky exoplanets and learn about their atmospheric conditions and composition. We could then have more of an idea of our planet's similarities. But that's not to say 186F is actually habitable, even if it's in the habitable zone. We don't know the temperatures on the planet or the kind of atmosphere it is. Plus, it's 500 light years away from Earth, so it's not like it's going to be just a little plane trip away. Number 19. Koku Tau 4 Researchers have already discovered more than 100 planets outside our solar system, so finding one more really isn't that much of a big deal. Well, Koku Tau 4 is different. While all planets we've discovered so far are more than a billion years old, Koku Tau 4 is just a baby. Researchers think this infant planet is no more than a million years old. Koku Tau 4 is in the constellation Taurus, about 420 light years away. Its neighboring planets are all about 4.5 billion years old, making them about middle age. But Koku Tau 4 is obviously different. Researchers examined the dusty disk around the planet to learn that it's probably the youngest planet they've ever seen, and it might have formed by scooping together the dust surrounding it. University of Rochester astronomer Professor Dan Watson said this theory poses problems for major theories of planet formation. One such idea is that planets form when small objects known as planetesimals collide and stick together, building a planetary mass. Koku Tau 4 could shed new light on what happens because planets collecting themselves from planetary dust around a star could mean planets can form much earlier in their process than we thought. Number 18. Kepler-37b We're always looking for planets around the same size as our own, but NASA Kepler mission scientists found one that's much smaller. In fact, it's the smallest planet we've ever found around a star similar to our Sun. It all started in 2013 when mission scientists discovered a new planetary system called Kepler-37. It's located in the constellation Lyra, around 210 light-years from Earth. Within that planetary system, they stumbled across Kepler-37b, a planet just slightly larger than our moon and measuring about a third of Earth. It's so tiny that detecting it was a challenge, and researchers think it's even smaller than Mercury. Scientists found it and two companion planets in or near the habitable zone, which is quite an exciting prospect. However, they think the environment is very different from our own. Kepler-37b doesn't have any atmosphere and can't support life. It also appears quite rocky in comparison. Alongside the tiny planet, researchers also discovered that one of the neighboring planets is about three quarters the size of Earth, and the furthest away planet, Kepler-37d, was twice the size of Earth. 
GJ504B. We've all got a favorite planet, but yours might soon be shoved to the side when you learn about one that was found in 2013. Not only is GJ504b absolutely massive and four times larger than Jupiter, but it's also pink. Scientists think this colossal planet is a dull magenta or dark cherry blossom color. Its color basically comes from its age. It's still glowing from the heat of being made and has an effective temperature of around 460 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just slightly tropical. Researchers discovered GJ504b after using infrared data from the Hawaii-based Subaru telescope. After finding it, they learned that it was the lowest mass planet ever found around a star using direct imaging techniques. The planet is slightly hotter than the sun and is just visible to the unaided eye in the constellation Virgo. It's about 57 light years away and is believed to be 160 million years old, based on its color and rotation period. Number 16, WASP-12b. WASP-12b is like the planet of our nightmares. It was discovered in 2008 and is a hot Jupiter that has been orbiting so close to its parent star that it's being torn apart. WASP-12b only takes around 1.1 days to circle its own sun, and the scorching heat of its star is devouring the planet's atmosphere and stripping it away. Researchers believe that it might only be around 10 million years before WASP-12b no longer exists. WASP-12b is located in the constellation Auriga, around 1,200 light years away from Earth, and is about twice the size of Jupiter. Although it's not exactly the same shape as Jupiter, or other planets for that matter, because of the gravity surrounding WASP-12b, the huge tidal forces are stretching the planet into the shape of an egg. While the stretching is happening, the planet is also being cannibalized. But not to worry, because it's not like we could live in WASP-12b anyway. Not only is it 1,200 light years away, so not exactly a short shuttle journey, but it's also about 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not inhabitable by absolutely anything. Number 15, TRES-4b. We usually create theories about things we can't possibly know for sure. Most of the time, everything we learn about space fits within those pre-created theories, but TRES-4b is different. According to researchers, this planet, discovered in 2007, shouldn't actually exist if our current theories are anything to go by. The extrasolar planet that sits around 1,400 light years from Earth is about 1.7 times the size of Jupiter and has an incredibly low density, making it a subclass of puffy planet. According to Lowell Observatory of Arizona study leader Georgi Mandushev, the density of TRES-4b is about 0.2 per cubic centimeter, making it about the same density as balsa wood. Georgie also said it has a weak pull on its upper atmosphere, so some of the atmosphere is likely to escape in a comet-like tail. Given its size and density, our current planetary models mean that this planet shouldn't exist. Georgie said it should be much smaller based on its mass. Instead of being about the same size as Jupiter, it's nearly twice as long. Lowell Observatory team member Edward Dunham said the planet is a theoretical problem. But problems are good since we learn new things by solving them. Number 14. PSR B1620-26b First of all, why can't we just give planets normal names like Jeff, Kevin, and Mary? You're about to learn a planet called PSR B1620-26b, which is very inconvenient. Fortunately, people also call it Methuselah, so that's what we're going to call it. Methuselah is in circumbinary orbit around two stars, so it's the first circumbinary planet we've ever confirmed. It's also the very first planet we found in a globular cluster and the oldest known extrasolar planet. Researchers believe it's 12.7 billion years old. And that's why it often gets called Methuselah. Methuselah is a biblical character who lived to be the oldest person, according to the Bible, so it makes sense to give the oldest planet such a nickname. 
Methuselah has 2,627 times more mass than Jupiter and orbits at 3.5 billion kilometers. This is just a little bit further than the distance between Uranus and the Sun. Each orbit of Methuselah takes around 100 years. We don't know where Methuselah originated from, but researchers don't think its current location is where it's formed. It's likely that it formed in orbit around the star that is now known as the White Dwarf. Number 13. PSR J1719-1438 B I've just had a battle with these names. Did they not think of us narrators when they come up with planets like PSR J1719-1438b? This is an extrasolar planet Matthew Bayliss of Melbourne, Australia, discovered in 2011. Uh, for the sake of my sanity, we're gonna call this planet Kevin. Kevin was discovered in orbit around a millisecond pulsar called J1719-1438. Once it was found, we got to work learning more about it, and we quickly learned that Kevin was quite the remarkable find. This pulsar planet is mostly made up of crystalline carbon, but with a far greater density than diamond. It orbits so closely around the host star that its orbit would fit inside the Sun. Kevin is about 4,000 light years away from Earth in the constellation Serpens Corda, and does about 10,000 rotations per minute. It measures approximately 12 miles across and has 1.4 solar masses. When it was discovered in 2011, it was the densest planet we've ever seen. Compared to Jupiter, it was 20 times denser, or about 23 times the density of water. It was also just slightly larger than Jupiter, but unlike Jupiter and Saturn, which are composed of hydrogen and helium, Kevin is mostly made up of oxygen and carbon. The oxygen is believed to be around the surface of the planet, with carbon deeper inside it. Based on the pressure of the planet, it's thought that the carbon is crystallized, a bit like a diamond. So, we've basically got a large diamond planet. Number 12. Trez-2b What's the darkest thing you've ever seen? Black paint? Coal? Your favorite black hooded sweatshirt? Well, times that by... A zillion. And you're perhaps getting closer to understanding just how dark Trez-2b is. This planet is blacker than black. In 2011, NASA's Kepler spacecraft identified Trez-2b lurking around a sun-like star around 750 light-years away from Earth around the constellation Draco. After further research, scientists found that the planet reflects less than 1% of the sunlight that falls on it. As a result, they think it's the darkest planet, or moon, they have ever seen. According to study lead author David Kipping, the darkness of the planet was ridiculous. It was alien compared to anything else we've found in our solar system. David said that it's darker than the very darkest lump of coal and darker than any acrylic paint. Most space lovers know that Jupiter has clouds that create white and red streaks and that the planet reflects more than a third of the sunlight that reaches it. However, Trez-2b is different. It doesn't have reflective clouds and is superheated to the point that it's believed to be more than 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. Its heat comes from a star about 3.1 million miles away. Study co-author David Spiegel said it would be wrong to say that the planet is entirely pitch black because it's not. Because of its heat, it also emits a faint red glow, almost like the coils of an electric stove. David Kipping said they don't fully understand why Trez-2b is so black, but it might be a chemical they haven't thought of yet. Number 11. 55 Cancry E Diamonds are expensive because they're rare, but if we ever got a chance to visit 55 Cancry E, they'll probably be about as worthless as rocks on a beach. Scientists discovered the planet called 55 Cancry E around a star in our Milky Way galaxy and were shocked by its composition. Once they estimated its radius and mass, they studied its composition to learn that it mostly consists of carbon in the form of diamond and graphite. It also has a little bit of silicon carbide, silicates, and iron, but at least one third of 55 Cancry E is diamond. 
The planet's surface is also likely covered in graphite and diamond, as opposed to granite and water. If this information proves to be true, 55 Cancri E would be the first diamond planet to be identified around a sun-like star, and it's very different from our own. Earth has far more oxygen than carbon. 55 Cancri E is often described as a super-Earth. This means its radius is twice that of Earth, and its mass is eight times greater. It also zips around its host star at incredible speeds, making a full orbit in 18 hours. As you probably know, Earth takes 365 days to orbit. 55 Cancri E is also incredibly close to its star, which means it's not habitable. The average Earth temperature is about 57 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas 55 Cancri E is about 3,900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's way too hot for any form of life. Number 10. Gliese 518 c the year 2007 was an exciting one for researchers because it was when they discovered Gliese 581c, a super-Earth planet that was actually quite close to our own. Gliese 581c is just 20 light-years from Earth and is believed to have liquid water because it's in its star-habitable zone. Now, researchers think it's more like Venus. But at the same time, this planet's discovery made headline news because it was the only known exoplanet that resembled our own planet. This was because it was just five times the mass of Earth. Since then, though, we've already found planets that are much closer in mass to Earth. Researchers were also cautious about saying that Gliese 581c was very similar to Earth in terms of actual conditions because that is possibly not the case. The surface temperature would depend on the atmosphere's thickness and composition, and the atmosphere also determines the magnitude of the greenhouse effect and how much light is being reflected off the planet. Ever since Gliese 581c was discovered, we've learned quite a lot more about it. We know that it takes about 13 days to orbit its parent star, and is possibly tidally locked. This means that the planet will always keep the same side towards the sun when it orbits. Earth's moon is also tidally locked to Earth. We were optimistic about the similarities between Gliese 581c and Earth, but it's unlikely that this planet would ever support life. Later papers discover that Gliese 581c is probably too hot to support life because it's so close to its parent star. Number 9. CFBDSIR 2149-0403 and here we go again with the super long names. CFBDSIR 2149 0403, which we'll call Jeff, is a free floating planetary mass object in the constellation Aquarius. Jeff was discovered by a Canada France Brown Dwarf survey when researchers at the Université de Montréal in Canada detected it with the Canada France Hawaii telescope. We don't know too much about Jeff at this point, except that it's perhaps a rogue planet, and, if it is, it's the closest that has ever been seen. It's about 130 light years, plus or minus 13, from Earth. There are many question marks about this planet, but we continue to learn more all the time. For example, we now know that there is light absorption by gaseous methane and water in its atmosphere, according to spectroscopy observations. Number 8. OTS-44 OTS-44 isn't really a planet, but it's a pretty cool planet-like... uh... thing. It's a free-floating planetary mass object, also known as a brown dwarf. It's located in the constellation Chameleon, and is about 550 light-years from Earth. It's believed to be one of the lowest mass free-floating substellar objects with a mass of about 11.5 times that of Jupiter. To put that into perspective, that's about 1.1 of the Sun's mass. We don't really know its radius, but scientists estimate that it might be between 23 and 57% of the radius of the Sun. as part of the star-forming region of Chameleon 1. 
After performing infrared observations with the Herschel Space Observatory and Spitzer Space Telescope, we learned that it emits a considerable amount of infrared radiation for its size. This means that it might have a circumstellar dusk disk with rock and ice particles. The disk has a mass of at least 10 times of our Earth and is gathering matter at a rapid rate. Scientists think that, eventually, OTS-44 will become a planetary system. Number 7. Korot-7b Korot-7b, an exoplanet that used to be called Korot-exo-7b, is an exciting discovery in the constellation Monoceros. It's about 489 light-years from Earth and was detected on a French-led Korot mission before being officially reported in 2009. Before our wee friend Kepler-10b was discovered in 2011, Korot-7b was the smallest exoplanet ever found, with a diameter of just 1.58 that of Earth's. It was also the very first potential extrasolar terrestrial planet to be found. According to researchers, Korot-7b also has a short orbital period of just 20 hours around its host star. When researchers looked at transit data and radial velocity measurements to learn the planet's diameter and mass, they realized that its density was about the same as Earth. This helped them learn that rather than being a gas giant like Jupiter, Korot-7b is a terrestrial planet like Earth. But don't let that make you think that Korot-7b is a planet we can move to. It's incredibly hot because it's so close to its star. Experts believe that it's probably around 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit. At that temperature, it's likely that Korot-7b could be covered in lava, but it's most likely a rocky planet like Earth. It's also probably a cloudless atmosphere with rocky vapors and low pressure. So, not exactly an idyllic paradise like Earth. Number 6. HD 189733b HD 189733b, which we'll call Henry, is an exoplanet around 64.5 light years away from Earth. It's located in the constellation Vulpecula and was discovered in 2005 by astronomers in France who spotted it orbiting a star and observing its transit across the face of the star. Henry's mass is about 16.2% higher than Jupiter, with a radius of at least 13.8% greater. It also orbits its star every 2.2 days at 341,100 miles an hour, so you can just imagine how hot it is. There's next to no chance Henry has any extraterrestrial life. But it's not just hot on Henry, it's downright torturous. Imagine a violent storm, and then times that by about a million. NASA said that Henry is a nightmare world and a killer you never see coming. From a distance, it kind of looks like a gorgeous, vibrant blue planet that would welcome you with open arms, kind of like our own. But if you were to actually arrive there as a space traveler, you would be eager to leave immediately. The weather is, apparently, deadly. There are winds blowing at up to speeds of 5,400 miles an hour, or seven times the speed of sound. You'd be immediately sucked out of your spacecraft and whipped around the planet. Then there's the rain. That combined with wind would make it feel like you're being sliced and diced by glass. And the blue color you see? Well, that's not oceans. It's high clouds laced with silicate particles. Honestly, this exoplanet is what nightmares are made of. Number 5. HD 209458b HD 209458b, an exoplanet that also goes by the name Osiris after the Egyptian god, was an interesting discovery that spelled many firsts for researchers. Osiris can be found in the constellation Pegasus, about 159 light years from our solar system, and has whole years that are about 3.5 days long in Earth years. Its mass is about 220 times greater than Earth, and its volume is about 2.5 more than Jupiter. Researchers class it as a gas giant based on its volume and mass. These are all exciting facts, but the best is yet to come. 
Osiris was a bit of a milestone exoplanet in extraplanetary research. It was the first known transiting extrasolar planet, and the first planet to be detected through more than one method. Osiris was also the first extrasolar planet known to have an atmosphere, and the first for its atmosphere to consist of evaporating hydrogen. After further research into its atmosphere, researchers also discovered that it was the first extrasolar planet to have an atmosphere with oxygen and carbon elements. And it doesn't stop there. Osiris was the first extrasolar gas giant to have a superstorm measured and the first to have its orbital speed measured by determining its mass directly. Researchers will probably never forget what Osiris did for them. Number 4. 51 Pegasi B 51 Pegasi B, which also gets called Bellerophon and Domidium, is an extrasolar planet in the constellation Pegasus, about 50 light years away from us. Researchers have been very excited about Domidium because it was the first exoplanet to be found orbiting a main sequence star. It was also a prototype for hot Jupiters, a class of planets. Domidium was discovered all the way back in 1995 by Michel Mayer and Didier Queloz. But don't let that have you thinking that Domidium hasn't had the spotlight more recently. In 2017, we found traces of water in the planet's atmosphere. Two years later, in 2019, the Nobel Prize in Physics was also awarded in part for this planet's discovery. In 1996, astronomer Jeffrey Marcy unofficially called 51 Pegasi B Bellerophon. This name is a figure from Greek mythology, and Jeffrey often calls planets after Greek and Roman mythological figures. However, in 2014, public nominations were called for the naming of many planets, and Domidium was the most popular choice for this one. The Astronomical Society of Lucerne entered this name, and Domidium means half in Latin. It refers to the planet's mass, which is about half of Jupiter's mass. Number 3. Jalees 1214b Jalees 1214b, also known as GJ1214b, is an exoplanet in the constellation Ophiuchus, orbiting the star Jalees 1214. It was discovered at the end of 2009 and is about 49 light years from the Sun. According to researchers, this planet is the most likely candidate we know about to become an ocean planet, so it often gets called the water world. Jalees 1214b is a super-Earth. That means that though it's smaller in radius and mass than the solar system's gas giants, it's still larger than Earth. It's also the first of a new planet class with low density and small sizes. Very rarely do we get to measure mass and radius, but as it crosses in front of its parent star, we can study its atmosphere with spectroscopic methods. Jalees 1214b is now the second planet we've been able to do this with. Even though we've been able to measure mass and radius, we still know very little about Jalees 1214b. We can only speculate about many things, but experts believe this planet has a thick, gaseous envelope, making up about 5% of planetary mass. It's possible that Jalees 1214b could be a rocky planet with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, but it could also be an ocean planet or a miniature Neptune. Scientists haven't outright said that it's an ocean planet, but its interior is assumed to have a water core with more water surrounding it, as well as rock, hydrogen, and helium. Number 2. J1407b I'll be the first to say that some planet discoveries are a bit boring. I mean, sure, discovering anything new is cool, but not all discoveries are exciting. Well, J1407b is different. In 2015, astronomers found a planet believed to be the very first ringed planet outside our solar system. J1407b is classed as a superworld, and has a girdle of halos a whopping 200 times larger than Saturn's. Had the same disk of 30 plus rings been positioned around Saturn, it would be all you can see in the night sky. According to Matthew Kenworthy from the Leiden Observatory, you'd be able to see the rings and the gaps between them quite easily from Earth. If they were in our solar system, they would be several times the size of a full moon. The start of the rings are about 30 million kilometers from the planet and span a distance of about 90 million kilometers. 
Astronomers believe the rings are made of dust, since the planet is up to 3,632 degrees Fahrenheit, which is far too hot for the rings to be ice, like those that orbit Saturn. Matthew said J1407b is probably up to 40 times the mass of Jupiter and is about 16 million years old. That might seem old, but it's actually quite young when you learn that Earth and the Sun are about 4.5 billion years old. Number 1. Kelt 11b. In 2016, astronomers made an exciting discovery in the form of Kelt 11b. Kelt 11b is an exoplanet that orbits around the yellow subgiant star Kelt 11 and is located about 320 light years from Earth. Astronomers refer to it as an infrared planet or puffy planet because it orbits a close distance from its parent star. Its radius is about 1.37 times that of Jupiter, but it only has about 19% of its mass. After a transmission spectrum study was carried out in 2020, astronomers learned that this planet's atmosphere had a subsolar water vapor volume, but huge amounts of hydrogen cyanide. They also found titanium and aluminium. We're yet to learn everything there is to know about Kelt 11b, but the general consensus is that it's a hostile and uninhabitable environment. We're always looking for planets like our own, but it's pretty obvious that Earth is unique. Do you think we'll ever find a planet that's pretty much exactly the same as Earth? If so, do you think we'll move there? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen now. We'll see you next time then, folks. This is Jake the Voice Pass signing off. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.